What is going on guys? Kevin over at Legros coming back at you with another video today. Had to dig deep in the purchases to find this one. October 4th was when this one arrived at my house. So I had to look back uh, quite a ways. Um, looks like it's four pounds. I think there's some parts and pieces in there. So I'm not 100% sure it's four pounds of just figures. This was 300 bucks though. Um, and hopefully there's some good stuff in here. I don't even remember, you know, October. That was, that was a really long time away. Uh, looks like there are two bags as well, so uh, that splits it up a little bit, so we'll be able to split it up uh, a little bit evenly. Hopefully we'll, we'll go get a bin here real quick. Uh, Stores.ebay.com slash like bros where you can find any of this stuff. Uh, what not, $10 off your first purchase if you never use that. That link will be in the description. And Athletic Greens we are linking in the description as well. It's something I take as a nutrition supplement because uh, I just always forget to take vitamins and things like that. And that you know, kind of covers the whole thing. So actually it does work very, very well. I have tons of energy, never drank coffee in my life. Uh, and I still have energy throughout the day to do this kind of thing. So something to look into, something to look into. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll go one bag at a time. We'll just put that bag over here and take a look. 300 bucks, four pounds. Sounds pretty good to me, but let's see what this is. October, October. Oh, ah, one broken clip. That sucks, but uh, a little bit of a budget, <laughs> a budget barding uh, right there. That's still pretty, pretty solid. I don't know exactly how much that one's worth, but uh, some of the bardings are just absolutely crazy. Uh, we got a crocodile there. This is one of the better versions of a Batgirl. We just need her headpiece, so hopefully we find that. That's about 30 bucks if you can find it complete. That looks like some kind of Eternals thing. I'm not 100% sure. Could be wrong on that one. Some of the superheroes, especially the newer ones, uh, I just, I don't really know. There's Zeke from Scooby-Doo. Hopefully our focusing isn't going to be doing this the whole time. There's a gray cape. We will use that for something to do with uh, Lord of the Rings. We have our series Witch. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, that's the headpiece of the Lord Business, the one of the only uh, Lego movie figs that you want to get. Uh, <laughs> there's not a whole lot of them, but that's one of them. This is the something minor, I think, from The Incredibles, I want to say. Uh, I don't know exactly what his value is, so we'll put him down there in research. Uh, not 100% sure on that one. This one, I think, is the Rastafarian Batman, if I'm not mistaken, and that would be a good find right there. Uh, we have the series Cat, is what that one looks like. Some Buzz Lightyear wings, not bad. We got a little snake, that one, I don't exactly remember which one that one is. I think this one's Spitta, the new version of Spitta, um, or Lasha. Don't know which one. One of the two. We got Captain Millhouse, <laughs> the... Uh, Superhero version of Millhouse. Not 100% sure what that one's worth either. Uh, that was just a um, Jurassic World fig. This is Sandman's base. That could be good if we find... Oh, if we find this guy. Uh, I believe this one actually is pretty decent. Uh, he always cracks, though, probably because of that base. So hopefully I have another torso for that guy, uh, and we can go through that. Hopefully one that's not cracked. You know, you never know. <laughs> I don't think those legs belong to that guy. There's some of Buzz Lightyear there as well. There's just a city fig... <laughs> There's the craggle. I didn't know that was an actual piece. That actually could be worth something. We'll have to see. Research on that one. The craggle, they actually made it. I didn't get any of the Lego movie sets, so no idea. I don't really get a lot of new sets, so, you know, it's just figures. Figures, figures, figures. That's all I get, so. I don't see some of these really cool things that they end up doing. Uh, there's just a uh, old uh, pirate stuck on an abandoned island. There's Vitruvius right there. Uh, we have the series Wrestler. This, I believe, is that... It's not Polka Dot Man. I don't know what that one is. Research. Research. Uh, Toy Soldier, that's a good one. We just put a, a little wind-up on the back of that one. That's a hard one to find. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Angry Bird. Not much there. Not much there. Some Nexo Knights. Uh, there's some series faces that I see in here as well, as, long as, as well as some city things. Like I said, it's a whole lot of figs, so we can't expect all of them to be excellent. Uh, Urukai, not cracked. Wrong helmet, but not cracked. Fantastic. Take that. Uh, I realize that I say fantastic a lot, but, you know, when the word fits, <laughs> it just fits. Uh, there's the non-valuable version of Disco Batman. Uh, the Ninjago Pirate, I'm trying to remember what his name was, don't exactly remember. Uh, ooh, that's a, uh, Endor Rex face. Hopefully we have, well, it goes to a whole bunch of things, but hopefully we have the Endor Rex that goes with that. Uh, some usable pieces there, too. There's Ma Cop. Ma and Pa Cop. Uh, what's this? Ooh. Miss, that's Rachel Green's headpiece, but 
Come on. Get out. It's too slippery. Let's see if it works with a better, a different torso. There we go. Sometimes it's just the torso. Sometimes it's just the torso. Uh, there's Mrs. Incredible. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, let's see. Some sharks. There's the gold filigree flash. A little bit slightly more valuable. I don't think it's really that much more valuable. The dual uh, molded legs is the one that you want to find. Uh, or the CW version, the dark red. That's the uh, liquid one as well. Uh, Stone Warrior J. Or Stone Warrior. Stone Armor J. <laughs> He's not a Stone Warrior. Uh, there's just a Vermilion there. It's a little series base. Some horses. Just a standard Batman. About as standard as they come. That Batman. Nothing there. We got an Iron Man helmet. Helmet face, I should say. Uh, that piece goes to Ninjago. Ninjago, uh, what was that, Hunted or Sons of Garmadon? One of those two. I don't remember exactly what he looks like. Uh, there's the Fencer. So there's a lot of series pieces in here for sure. Um, ooh. Ooh, with the handprints, not cracked. Awesome. Awesome ting right there. Put him in the ting pile. We know exactly what to do with him. What the heck is this? I don't think that's real Lego. <laughs> but barbed wire. Interesting. <laughs> I'm going to put it over there because I have no idea if that's real or not. Um, let me know. I'm pretty sure no. I'm going to go, I'm going to lean towards no, but you never know. A uh, little, uh, I don't even know. It doesn't have a mask, so I can't tell which turtle that is supposed to be trying to be. Uh, no idea. We got Patrick with the tongue out. Must be doing some hard work there. There's a Toy Story alien. Sandy Cheeks. Unfortunately, she has a giant torso crack. Is that a mark or a crack? Just a... I think it's a crack. I think it's a crack. That's unfortunate. That's a good fig, though, uh, if I can complete that. I probably have another torso to put over there, so... No worries. No worries. There's the Riddler. Uh, we got rebooted Lloyd, I think is what that one was. Uh, there's Zane in his pink pink outfit. That one's kind of cool. Uh, relatively new, so it hasn't really hit its value stride yet. It's I think it's going to be good, though. Uh, once it hits that point, I think it's going to be good. This one is Ultron MK1? Something to that effect? Decent piece. Not super, super good. Um, I'm guessing this is another series Batman. I haven't seen. Free hair. Sweet. Uh, I haven't seen that one, so we'll put that one in research. The red helmet's actually kind of cool. Sometimes those things are super valuable, and I just didn't know about them because I don't do anything with series, so <laughs> you never know. Uh, there's Peter Pan's headpiece, or hat piece. There we go. That's what he's supposed to look like. Look at that. Uh, he's about, he's, he's not, he's not great. He's like, he's like 10 to 15. I guess he, he could be considered a ting, but he's not fantastic. Uh, we have Nauticon, or a piece of Nauticon. I have to dig that arm out, because it looks like there's a broken arm in there, unfortunately. Harumi, probably her least valuable version in that yellow suit, uh, unfortunately. Let's see, there's a War Machine. Ooh, <laughs> yuck. The helmet might be saved, though. Oh, this thing might be saved, so we'll put that. I don't remember exactly which one that is. I'm going to put that over there. Not even worth saving it for me. Uh, I know you can save some of those things, but, uh, this is Shade, I believe, the torso of Shade. We might have some of those, I think he only, he might have come in one set, but he, I think he only came in that, uh, that, like, Bricktober thing, so that could be kind of cool if we have some of those. I think that's about it, some Woo Crew in here. That's about it for the first bag, so let's go ahead and pour these in here, give you guys a little bit of ASMR. And then we'll go into our second round. And again, everybody always comments that I throw stuff up there that I could use. And yes, I will use. <laughs> I will use everything. Uh, once we sort it all down to its components, uh, everything will get used. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Here's a cow. I was told that these are super expensive, even though I sold one on Whatnot for like five bucks. <laughs> so I'll have to research the cows. That's a Longhorn cow, it looks like. I don't know if that's exactly how it's supposed to be, but that's what it looks like. Uh, there's a Mario kind of action figure thing. Uh, there's some... Oh, that's a couch. That's a solid couch right there. 
is what that is. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. There's a dino leg. <laughs> Interesting. I'm going to put that over there because it's going to take up a lot of desk space. Uh, we have Aladdin and some mutant form of Chumsworth and the Overlord. Yeah, you didn't see that episode, did you? Uh, I will take that tail, though. Fantastic. There is a uh, space Batman cape. Here is a dwarf from The Hobbit. I don't remember exactly which one that is. The purple one, obviously. We have Woody from Toy Story. Here is Alfred with coattails. I always forget which Alfreds are valuable, so we'll put that one up here just for now. Uh, just Most Alfreds are pretty good, to be honest. Mr. Krabs with a fantastic face print. That's a solid ting right there. Uh, let's see, that looks like part of some kind of Mario thing, too. Uh, that's nothing. Uh, it looks like Commissioner Gordon, maybe from series. That is a Bruce Wayne, which I think is good, but we'll put him next to Alfred. Not 100% sure on that one either. Let's see. Harley Quinn. We have the Fly, which is an awesome fig, but not super valuable, unfortunately. I don't know why. That one actually is pretty cool. Uh, this is like a metallic suit, Zane. I've never seen that before. Research on that one as well. Comment below if you know what that is, too. Uh, let's see... What else we got? There's a Digi Dude. Digi Dude, that's his official name. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. <laughs> One of my favorite figs. The Mad Scientist. I think that's from the Ninjago movie. <laughs> he's just awesome. He's not super valuable. We're just going to put him down there because he's awesome. Look at that mullet and the beard. Uh, there's Patrick eating an ice cream cone. We have a boxer. There's uh, Bane. Let's see, nothing there. One of those unique pirates from Ninjago. Batman. There's our, uh, I didn't, I've never seen them do a circle for the test print. That's interesting. Uh, that tells them which ways the torso is supposed to face so they can print it correctly, but that's interesting. Buzz Lightyear. Uh, and a Iron Man that is not correct. We know what to do with that. SpongeBob. Some of the SpongeBob's are valuable. They're all kind of just in the same realm there. Uh, we have the boxing suit Batman, which is also awesome. It goes along with the Rastafarian one. I think, I'm trying to remember which suit you want out of that set. There's one of them that's really good. I think it's the astronaut, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we have Shaggy and Robin. Square foot, one of my favorites right there. Uh, let's see, not particularly valuable though, unfortunately. Uh, ooh, is that... And then harm just fall out. That's correct. Um, hmm. Is that the super decorative Harumi? I gotta think. Research. Research on that one. Not 100% sure. Not 100% sure. There's a fake bounty hunter, I think is what they were going for. Not 100% sure on that one either. Uh, Dr. Quinzel there again. The series version, I believe, is what that one came from. Here is a Iron Legion, which is great. We'll keep that one over there. Uh, the pure number of parts. Uh, this actually ended up being mostly minifigures, not a whole lot of weight from other things. So about four pounds for 300 bucks. That's fantastic. It's it's not bad at all. We got Catwoman. So even if they're not Tings, that's a solid find no matter what, just from price ratio right there. Uh, we'll use that for Karloff. I don't know exactly what figure that is trying to be, but uh, we have the Bat Batgirl Scientist. Here is Fred. Unfortunately, it is cracked, which is a big bummer. Uh, those Scooby-Doo figs are harder and harder and harder to get. There is the wooden version of Captain Jack Sparrow, which is actually kind of a unique find right there. I think that was in a poly bag, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's the only one I can seem to find. There's so many rare versions of this, but Professor Sprout is the only one I ever find. It's crazy. It's absolutely nuts, actually, how many of those I find comparatively to what I need. Uh, there's Batman with his little goggles. Uh, well, there's Vitruvius, at least, so maybe one more. Okay, I'll give that to it. <laughs> we were expecting to find Vitruvius, though, because we saw his top half uh, earlier. There's another Iron Legion. 20 bucks once you complete that guy. A lot of pieces left to complete him, though, uh, besides just the torso, so... Not, no no easy ting right there. Uh, that one is a Lord of the Rings goblin. Anything Lord of the Rings is just pretty good nowadays. Uh, of any of the Incredibles, that is the worst of the value, the Mr. Incredible, which is unfortunate. Uh, we have the Voodoo Jack Sparrow on a magnet. I didn't know he came on a magnet. Maybe he doesn't come on that magnet. It's just he's on that magnet for right now. We have the Fox. Still don't know what she says. Uh, let's see... Urukai Shield. That's cool. That's cool. 
Don't know what this guy's holding, but that's a Lego store employee. Look at that. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat. I have to research some of that. I think there are some really cheap versions of Lego store employees, but hey, we got Lord Business's legs to go on his giant helmet. Um, I guess we'll just take this because I have plenty of those hairs. We'll just do that just so we can keep it together. That ain't bad. Just needs that long cape. <laughs> I think the headpiece is the hardest part to find, so uh, that's a good start. The movie version of Garmadon. There's another turtle, but that one is black and blue, which is interesting. Uh, there's the diver version of Batman. There's a whole bunch of suits. I'm trying to remember which suits were the best. Uh, ooh, Nori. The legs are all chewed up, but the rest looks okay, so that's good. Uh, I can replace the legs. That's a fantastic find right there. Little Nori dwarf from The Hobbit. Uh, let's see. Just a helmet. Nothing much there. Just tiny little Five Night at Freddy's. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's figs, which I had no idea about. Some people were like, what did you do? Oh my gosh, those are so valuable. I didn't know, all right? I didn't know. You can't know everything about everything, okay? I try, but I know things about Lego figs, which I don't even know anything about oh, all the things about Lego figs. Scorpion Tail, we we'll use that too. Awesome. Uh, but like I was saying, I can't, uh, I can't know everything about every superhero action figure. It's just, it's too much. <laughs> I think that goes on the fox. Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Not a very valuable thing, but still, we completed it, right? <laughs> probably goes the opposite. Does it go the opposite direction? No, it, should, it probably goes that way. Uh, it just still doesn't talk, though. Let's see. That looks fake. That head looks fake. I don't know. We'll sort through it. We'll sort through it later on. Not a whole lot, but really good. There's the English Bulldog. Really good for price per piece on this one. Four pounds, over four pounds, for 300 bucks. I'll do that any day of the week. Uh, we'll use all this stuff as best we can. Takes a little while to organize it, of course, but uh, we'll get through it. Not a, not a terrible ting pile. Not great, though. Honestly, just a whole lot of bulk filler is what kind of what this one was. No standouts, which is unfortunate. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with these, but price per piece couldn't go wrong with this one. So I'm happy. Uh, hopefully you guys are happy as well. If you goose, if you guys do like, uh, if you goose, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell and all the links down below as well. Of course, I'll catch you guys on the next one.